Another way to edit a design is through reshaping. The reshaping icon will let you make changes in the shape of an object. First, select the object and then click on reshape. If the object is grouped, the first object in the design will have reshape points appear around the object. If the object is ungrouped, the object that you will click on will have the reshape points around it. You can reshape whether an object is grouped or ungrouped. The yellow squares that you see are used to create a point or turn a corner, while the blue circles form curves. The line with the peach squares on either side show the angle of the stitches. You can easily change the angle by clicking and dragging on one of the peach squares. When you release the square, the angle of the stitches will be updated. If you don't like this change, you can either move it more or click on undo. You can move, add, delete, or change the reshape points. To move a point, simply click on the control point you wish to move and the shape will instantly update. Notice that the selected point is dark blue. To add a point, either right click or left click on the line around the object. If you left click, you will add a square point. If you right click, you'll add a circle point. These points then can be moved or if you want to delete the point, select it and press delete on the keyboard. To change a point, select that point and press the space bar. You can change a yellow square to a blue circle or vice versa. To go to the next shape, click on the tab key and you are ready to reshape that object. The green square that you see is the start point of the and the red cross that you see is the end point. These will be discussed in a later video. If you wish to go back in sequence, select Shift Tab. When you are finished reshaping, press Escape. Then you can save your changes.